Yo Alan, will you make a how-to barbell row video? Can you please make a bent over row instructional video? Hey Al, love the how-to videos. Do a bent over barbell row one. Dude, you eat a lot of food. P.S. How do I do a barbell row? Hey Alan, if you don't do a how-to barbell row video, I will find out where you live and I will kill you. Barbell rows are a great assistance exercise for your upper back, lats, and grip strength. Let's first start with feet position. Place your feet the same width as your conventional deadlift stance. When looking down, your toes should line up with the barbell. From a side angle, your arms should be hanging straight down, not back towards your body, and not out in front of you. As far as hand placement, you can vary the grip just like you would vary your bench press grip. Hand placement will affect which muscles are being worked. For example, a wider grip with elbows flared out will primarily work your upper back muscles. Using a narrow grip or a supinated grip and keeping your elbows closer to your sides will primarily work your lats. Now let's talk about the actual row. Do your very best to keep your back flat and parallel to the ground. As you stand up, your torso becomes more vertical. As your torso becomes more vertical, the movement turns into more of a shrug than a row. I'll show you three slight variations of the barbell row the Penlay row is a very strict barbell row in which you place the weight back on the ground after each rep. This is great for power and speed, but it usually takes the eccentric part out of the movement. Eccentric movement is any movement where you're trying to slow gravity down. Concentric movement is any movement where you're fighting directly against gravity or you're contracting muscles. If you choose to incorporate more of the eccentric movement in the barbell row, you are increasing the time under tension, which will reap larger muscle gains. So rather than just dropping the weights back down on the floor, I would suggest slowly lowering the barbell and letting the weights gently touch the ground. If you want even more time under tension, pick the bar up about an inch off the floor and never let it touch the ground. This will really test your grip strength and muscular endurance, and it might force you to lighten the weight. Here's a quick barbell row tip. When you're pulling the bar, I want you to pull with your elbows, not your hands. Don't just simply lift the weight up with your hands. Really engage your lats and upper back by pulling your elbows toward the ceiling. As you can see here, I'm just pulling this dumbbell in an up and down motion, and it's resembling more of a bent over hammer curl. I'm not engaging my lats or my upper back because I'm not pulling from my elbow. Imagine that your elbows were moving the weight. This is gonna force you to raise your elbows up toward the ceiling. This is how you engage your lats. While performing the barbell row, there are plenty of other muscle groups being worked. Your lower back, hamstrings, and core are all isometrically holding you in position. Do not, under any circumstance, allow your back to round. If your back cannot support the weight, you shouldn't be rowing it. In order to prevent lumbar flexion, I want you to make your best impersonation of a pregnant woman and fill your belly and lower back with air. Now press your stomach against your thighs and this will stabilize you while the weight in your hands tries to break your back in half. Do not be the joker who swings the weight up with his lower back and then just pulls himself back down to the bar. Keep your torso in position throughout the entire movement. Row the bar into your body and touch 
your chest or your belly. Then lower the bar back down. 